right. <laughs> That's Sister Smith right there. <laughs> uh, sorry, before we before we went and did this, we we were saying we were saying some deep deep stuff. I'm glad it wasn't being recorded <laughs> because that would have got YouTube to take down this whole channel. <laughs> anyway. Uh, welcome to ISBC Truth right here on the ISBC Truth channel. The only place you're going to come to for the unadulterated, uncut, raw truth. With your host, Pastor Michael Smith and co-host, Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you're new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. Become a subscriber. The subscribe button right there. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, there was a bell next to the subscribe button. Hit that. Turn on all your notification bells. And on the other side, you're going to see a button that looks like a thumbs up. Some people call it a thumbs up. Some people call it a like button. But what do you call it? Whatever you call that button that looks like a thumbs up or a like button, hit it. Hit that button so that we can get the algorithms on a popping. So that we can get this truth out to the masses. Amen. Lord, Lord, Lord. The Ethiopian people. Nipsey Hussle is an Ethiopian. He's not Negroid. He's not of Negroid descent, people. He's an Ethiopian. His family line comes from Nimrod. Nimrod was an Ethiopian. He's an Ethiopian. The Ethiopians are Cushites. The Ethiopian's father is Ham. Ham's father is Noah. I'm just giving you a genealogy of things here. I'll say this again. Nipsey Hussle is an Ethiopian. Nimrod, who you celebrate when you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Nimrod. He is also an Ethiopian. The Ethiopians are Cushites. The, Q the Cushites are the Ethiopians. The Ethiopians' father is Ham. Ham's father is Noah. That's just a genealogy. But we come from Shem, the Negroes in America and scattered abroad. The Negroes come from Shem. S-H-E-M, not H-A-M. We're not Ham, we're Shem. It's a difference. So we should not be worshiping an African. Okay. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hear this report. Uh, Missy Hustle's family drama, Baby's Mama, want a portion of assets. Missy Hustle's brother and sister are locked in what is turning out to be an expensive child custody battle over Missy's 13-year-old daughter, Imani. Who? And Imani? <laughs> A-M-A-N-I. <laughs> Look at that. I'm A-M-A-N-A-M. Amani. Amani? Amani or Amani? Okay. And I, Amani, yeah, something like that. But go ahead. As media takeout reports, Nancy's siblings are seeking full legal custody of Amani and control over the deceased's rapper's entire estate. I say so, again, I, I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? DMX, wasn't DMX bigger than Nipsey Hussle? Yeah. It sure enough was. DMX sold more records than Nipsey Hussle. DMX made more movies than Nipsey Hussle. DMX was more influential than Nipsey Hussle. With all that being said, DMX had 17 kids. Why don't we hear anything about DMX kids getting a piece of DMX's legacy? I would say tell you like I told you on the last report. Because the imprint, DMX, the image and the imprint of DMX belongs to Leo Cohen. And Leo Cohen is not going to give Nipsey Hussle, I mean, uh, uh, DMX kids 
a piece of that pie. That goes to Leo Cohen's family. It's the same way back in the day, Sister Smith? Yes. Do you remember an artist by the name of Frankie Lyman? Yes. Why do fools call it love? Why do fans of It's a damn... It's a damn shame how he messed up his career, wanted to be a heroin junkie. Mm -hmm. Went to the army, settled down, got married. Then he went to New York to try to get back into the game. And that white Jay said what to him? You washed up. Don't nobody want to hear your music no more. I'm too busy making money off of your old music. I'm still making money to this day off of your old music. We don't need no, no more new Franklin Lyman's. At the end of the day, there is a white fake J at the end of every black entertainer saying cha-ching. <laughs> all the way down to Frankie Lyman all you gotta do is just look at the, the Frankie Lyman story oh it's messed up how he messed up all that money and the white fake J helped him mess up his money and called him what he was oh you ain't nothing but a junkie go get some go get high and guess what he did he went and got high and died and then after that Every woman that he slept with tried to get a piece of his money. But they couldn't. Because they couldn't prove it. All the ones except that Lord lady from Georgia. But anyway, that's Frankie Lyman. At the end of every black celebrity, there's a hook-nosed, white, fake, you-know-who. Saying cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And you got to fight tooth and nail to even get a piece of that cha-ching. Who was at the helm of a Easy e Dr. Dre, and uh, all the other ones? Jerry Heller. Jerry Heller. Who is that? That's a white, fake Jay, <laughs> just look at it, people. Just look at it. So, Nipsey Hussle's family is in a tough custody battle. Like I said, let's talk about them X-17 kids. They probably starving right now. They probably out in, on the welfare line. They probably got food stamps. Where is DMX 17 kids? What about that one? Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's saying nothing about DMX 17 kids. But yet DMX's music is still streaming and making money on the streaming sites. Who is getting that money? Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead, Sister Smith. Uh, but his child's mother, Tanisha Foster, is looking for custody of their 13-year-old. And the fortune that comes along with her. Wait a minute, Denisha Foster don't have custody of her kid? No. Figures. Denise, uh, Denise, her name is Denise? Who? Her name is Tanisha. Tanisha Foster. With a name like that, I know you're a Judite. I know you're an Israelite. But Nipsey Hussle is a Hamite. And that probably explains why you don't have custody of your kid. Because it's not because you're, you know what I'm saying? Because you got uh, Rob Kardashian and you got Black China. Who got custody of. That kid is not black China. And Rob Kardashian got more credibility than black China. Rob Kardashian got more money than black China. Rob Kardashian got more status 
and more stability than black China. But who did they give it to? They gave it to black China. Why? <laughs> only you would know. Only if you only knew. I say that to say this. You have this black woman and you got a Hamite man. He's a Hamite. Of course he's going to have custody of his child. That's just like if, you don't say, if Barack Obama and Michelle Obama split up. You know who's going to get custody of the kids? Barack. Because even though Michelle Obama is a him downstairs, Michelle Obama is still a Judite. Barack Obama is a Hamite. So you know what that make the Barack kids? It don't make them Judites. It makes them Hamites. Because you know you are who your father is. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Uh, according to... <clears throat> let me see. Uh, female rapper of women... I'm sorry, I have the wrong. It, it, it. Yeah, she had the wrong one up. You know what I'm saying? Blame it on her. She always, you know what I'm saying, pulling up the wrong report at the wrong time. What's wrong with you, woman? No, I'm What's wrong with you? You better get the reports right. I'm gonna get them right. Yeah, you better get them reports right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'll demote you to just sweeping up the lobby floor. You will? Yeah, uh-huh. You want to sweep the lobby floor? Huh? You want to sweep the <laughs> lobby floor? No. Oh, that's not, I know how I'm going to get you. I know how I'm going to get you. What? Keep messing up on them reports. TT is going to be sleeping right next to you. No, she's not. Yeah, she oh, is. <laughs> Hey, people, yeah, Sister Smith hate cats. <laughs> I will be sleeping so, next to you. So, 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 if every time she yeah. mess up, I'm going to have Sister, I'm going to have T.T., which is the cat. I'm going to say, come here, T.T., get right between us, right there. There you go. Now, now start your engine. I don't think so. <laughs> T.T. T.T. is going to be meow. Go ahead. According to new court documents obtained by media takeout, Nipsey's brother Sam and his sister Samantha have their lawyers inform the court that they schedule an upcoming me me media -tation so. So I guess his sister Sam last name is Hustle. So I guess it's Sam Hustle and and what is um <laughs> what's his brother's name? Uh Sam Sam is the brother's name and Samantha is the sister. Sam is the brother's name and Samantha is the sister. Yeah. You know Sam is usually short for Samantha. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Sam Hustle and Samantha Hustle and Nipsey, is that a real net last name anyway? So I guess his child last name is Hustle too. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Probably, yeah. He was supposed to be, oh no, he, I don't think he was married to Lauren London. I think they were just going together, and there was he just have a kid with Lauren London. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Samantha had their lawyers inform the courts that they scheduled an upcoming media mediation with Tanisha's for November thirtieth. The mediation is expected to result in a huge crash settlement payout. To Tanisha, if she chooses to accept it, <clears throat> the settlement, in addition to granting Sam and Samantha custody of 
Armani. Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. So the baby mama of Nipsey Hussle is giving the custody mm -hmm. to them? Mm, Lord. Oh, yep. Lord. You know what that means? What? And and the baby mama is going to get a cash settlement? It's like the so. baby mama is selling her own damn child. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and hear some more. Okay. I'm going to start off here. The settlement, in addition to granting Sam and Samantha custody of Imani, would result in agreement for the distribution of assets of the state uh, of Agrastum. Um, Missy's brother Sam is claiming that Tanisha allegedly assaulted a person in front of Imani and claimed that makes her an unfit mom who is unfit to act as a guardian of the state and to manage Imani's inheritance, which is expected to exceed over 200,000 200,000, I think. No, it's more than that. <clears throat> it's got 200,000, I guess. I don't know. Is it 200? 200, 000, 000, 000. Is that 2 million? No, it can't be 2 million because it will be a comma after the 2. It is. Oh, it's a comma after the two? Yeah. Oh, that's two million. Oh, okay. It's seen it over two million. Uh, no words yet on how the mediation went. But if Tanisha doesn't agree, the case will likely go to trial. Uh, as of now, a hearing has been set for January if a settlement is not reached during the mediation. Uh, that's it. So, so this baby's mama will get for for turning her child over to the hustles. She get a cash lump sum. Mm hmm. I think she's gonna end up trying. I think she's gonna end up giving that cat, get that cash lump sum, and giving up the child. Ain't no way I give my child up. <laughs> well, you ain't these satanic scumbags. Yeah. You love your child. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Can't say, can't say you the same about me. I love you. <laughs> oh, <I love> you. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, and I love you too, boo boo. Okay. All right. So there you have it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nipsey Hustle. You know what I'm saying? The Ethiopian, the Ethiopian family. You know what I'm saying? Is getting custody of the Ethiopian child. You know what I'm saying? Because you are who your father is. If your father's Ethiopian, then you Ethiopian. You know what I'm saying? We are not Ethiopian. We are Israelites. Understand that. Oh, uh, anyway, that's news. I want to thank you for tuning in, logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel, right here on ISBC Truth. The uncut, unadulterated, uncensored truth. You can get the truth nowhere else on planet Earth, but right here. With your host, Pastor Michael Smith. Co-host. Sister Smith, baby. Amen, amen. There you go. And if you want to, if you just come across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. Become a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a bell. Hit that bell. Turn on all notifications. And on the other side, there is a button that looks like a like button. 
call a thumbs up button. Some people call it a like button. Some people call it a thumbs up button. But what do you call it? What do you call it? Whatever you call that button that look like a thumbs up or a like button, hit it so that we can get these algorithms on popping and get this truth out to the masses. On to the next one.